Hi there, I'm Darren Williams from Python Bytes, and this is a continuation of the tutorial I provided on showing you how to create a website uh, using Python and the module called Bottle Pi. Now, in the last tutorial, we had a problem where when we ran the server, we got an error here and the error is telling us the name Rose is not defined okay and then we look in here at this code so it's going in bottle pie bottle pie and then we go down to here and the line of code is index template line 3 in the module for row in rows okay now if you look up here and we hit enter we get the same error we check with the command prompt yep name rows is not defined we're getting that error again the reason being is if we look at our server code this is a new task okay and we have this code here where we insert what the task or the to do task is then we go we uh, say to the database select all the files from the to do table and uh, return them by the order of date and we have uh, rows we got return template index template rows equals rows but when we first start the website we're not going through the new route we're going through this route here and there's template and when you look at the template you have here for row equals rows okay and then on the server down here we've got here return template index rows equals rows but here when we start the uh, the website there's no rows equal rows so what we do is we copy this code here I'll do it from here so we know it's the database and then just here we connect to the database that indent was because we had an if statement okay and then we go here right so we're connecting to the database we're then setting up our cursor and then with the cursor we say rows equals rows sorry rows get us all the details of all the rows in the file and then we got our template and then we run that now because we don't have any records we may have an error I'm not sure about that so now I'll save that I go back here refresh there we go and we got a new task it's not listing any tasks because we don't have any tasks as yet so I hover if you I've got the mouse on that link hyperlink and then down the bottom it's got forward slash new okay so we'll just click that and see what happens yes we got a task we got save and cancel that should have been a capital S not to worry so we go task uh, my first first task my first task to do what has been waiting two months now no it's not true I'm just making that up and will be done soon probably another two months 
Okay, so now I'll save that and I have an error. Has no attribute ex execute. Uh, where is that? Line 28. So that's a good thing about Notepad. Line 28. Here we go. Execute. Thank you. And I've forgotten what I wrote. Not necessarily. So if I go. If I go back. Aha. It's there. And then I save. Aha, my first task. Now if I click it, I'll get an error. Now I'm hovering on that. And if you look down here, down the bottom left, the link is item 1. I click it, there's an error. There is no item 1. So now we're able to add a task. Okay, so we're taken to new for some reason. Add new tasks, we go home, okay, and then I'll click that. Uh, that's not working for some reason. That one is. So, task to clean clean the garage. Stack bottles. I won't say what bottles. Not that there are any bottles. I'm making this all up. Stack bottles. Cans. I won't say what type of cans. There aren't any cans. I'm making this up. Cans. And boxes. To be. Recycled. Okay. So click save. And it's got new up there. I don't know why it's going new. If I go home, it get, gets rid of the new. Okay, and I click that, I get an error. Okay, so we're actually adding the task. Now, if you remember the last tutorial, we used SQLite Manager. So, there's nothing in there at the moment. That's because it's we've had the, we selected the to-do table. So up here, up the top here, I refresh, and there are the tasks, and there's the date and the time. Okay, so that part is working, and where is it? New task. That's new. And if I go new task, that's going to home, and the index. Okay, so that's that tutorial. Yes, we're adding new tasks. Next tutorial, we will um, then select items, and we will be able to edit those items, make changes. Okay, I'm Daryl Williams from Python Bytes. If you have any comments or any questions relating to this tutorial, please leave them at the bottom of this video on YouTube. And that way we're sharing your comments and your questions. So when other people are looking at the videos, they'll go, ah, there's a question that I was about to ask. And they'll get the answer. Uh, so... As if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel and that way you'll be able to keep up to date with more videos about Python. So, till the next tutorial, which is coming very soon. Hope you enjoy these tutorials as much as I am. Until then, goodbye.